Okay, so how do we repurpose videos? Well, today I'm going to repurpose one. First thing we want to do is go through and we want to edit out all the ums, ahs, buts, uh, and just try and take it down. So the whole thing is uh, just over 30 minutes to see if we can't reduce that down. Business at all until um, I. See, so we had an um there. So let's just uh, make our timeline a bit better. So I make take that um out until um... so we can see that split that one, split that one, and then we just do a ripple delete, and that makes takes that um out, and then it re stitches uh, that to the timeline. So I read some interesting things, and it was when I was writing a food blog at the time, and a lot of the food bloggers that I was in touch with. Um, See, there's another um there. So let's whip that out. Quickly, ripple delete. I was in touch with, was saying how much interest they were getting and how much traffic to their website they were getting simply through using Pinterest. Um, so there's a nice big gap there. We can take that out. So take that big chunk, split all. It wasn't erm um, there, I think. Um, so that was a nice big chunky erm. Um, split all. Ripple delete, because that'll then stitch it back. We're using Pinterest. So I started looking a little bit closer at it from a business perspective. Um, <laughs> she does. We all, we all do it. We all stick in ums. And we don't actually realise how many ums we stick in until uh, until we listen back and have to edit but uh, yeah there's another second so you get the uh, you get the gist where we're moving through cutting all the ums and outs that's going to bring us down to a nice smaller more manageable piece of um, see I've done um myself a more manageable piece of media okay so as you can see we've brought it down to about 25 minutes up giving ourselves a little bit of extra either side. So we've knocked off, and we didn't do it very aggressively, but we knocked off a lot of the ums and the ahs and brought it down by a good uh, a good five, well, a good six, seven minutes at least. And that's quite a lot when you're thinking it's a, a 25 minute or a 24 minute presentation. So uh, we just want to top and tail it. So I've brought in a quick, quick little front end bumper. So there you go. Pinterest Antonia Bolton and we don't want that to just uh, jump in we'll have that, uh, give that a nice little uh, transition we'll give that a nice little fade transition because if you remember she starts off and she's actually got uh, the zoom background so then on the same thing at the back end so we just skip to the back and bring the same thing in and I just made this on Canva, which if you watch Antonia's presentation, you'll see how to do that as well. Um, when she uses Canva to make her pins, and um, we'll have the lovely little transition. Oops. Nice little fade transition. And there you go. So that has got the presentation just into one smaller, more compact presentation piece. Now, the next thing to do is obviously we want to repurpose it and make it fit because that's in a Zoom uh, recording which is, isn't is even a standard size uh, HD rectangle. So we just want to change that around and that's what we'll be doing next. Okay, so here we are. We're into Ring Camtasia. This is where I'm doing my editing today. Is you can do this on many, many different, uh, different platforms. Just Camtasia I find quite quick and easy um, and it's it's it, it does lots of things that are very very simple so we now have our we now have our video but of course yes it's in these it's in the wrong formats for different things so we want it let's get it back to the beginning so we want it to be different sizes for different platforms so we want it to be uh, an HD rectangle for YouTube, we want it to be a square for uh, Instagram, Facebook, potentially LinkedIn, um, 
and also we want it to be a portrait uh, for IGTV. <clears throat> We've got those different things that we can do um, and also we can transcribe it as well. We'll get the transcription done. So that way we've got uh, we've got the wording as well and that can perform a great blog or words to a post. All these little things that can add in and just take one piece of content and use it, wring every single little piece of, uh, of, of, of juice out of it, your content juice. Now, the easiest thing to do when you're repurposing your video content for all manner of things is to get a transcription. So first things first, we don't want to upload a huge file. So I'm in Camtasia. I have the Pinterest uh, demo by Antonio Bolton ready to go. So I'm going to just go in and all I want to do is grab the uh, audio file. So I'm just going to share uh, export audio only. That'd be a much smaller file than uh, than the video file. So I'll just call that uh, and whip that into downloads. I was just going to export it. Okay, so we've got our downloaded file. The next thing to do is we want to bring it into uh, here we go, Otter AI. Let's try that one. Um, <clears throat> going to import our audio. Uh, this is a uh, free. I think you get 600 minutes. Uh, free. It gets reset every 30 days, so uh, that can't be bad. So let's give this a go. There's our file. Let's bring it in. Now, because we've never used this before, I've no idea how long this takes, so we're going to find out. But one of the great things is when you've got the audio transcribed into words, then you've got a massive blog post. This is 25 minutes of a teach. So that's going to be a mighty long blog post, but you can add little bits in. We'll, we'll do something that will take all the ums out when we get it back. And that'll reduce it down, <clears throat> make it more readable. But also we can put in little pictures along the way as Antonia is doing things becomes great. And then we can cut those up and they become little posts into Facebook as well. So you've got big blog, little smaller blogs, content for your posting for Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, little training elements. Perfect. When we're going to be doing all that, and this is just another little thing you can do with this repurposing. This 25 minutes, or I think it was what, 32 minutes to begin with, was, was the recording of Antonia teaching us about Pinterest. And this is just a massive amount of content. So don't ever tell me you don't know what to do about content, because this is exactly what you should do. So there you go, the conversation is processing. Would we like to be notified? Yes, please, let's notify me. Cool, uh, so they want to show notifications. Let's allow that. Right, while that's getting on, let's jump back to our, our editing. So, okay, we have, the, we have Antonia's full video all set up in Camtasia, but as we say, we need different canvases, different sizes, do different platforms. So let's, first of all, Let's turn this into a into a YouTube ready landscape video. So we right click project settings. Oh, let's make it bigger. So that is a 1080p HD. That is perfect for YouTube. So it's going to be slightly it's slightly the wrong size. So we can do a couple of things. We can just drag it out there and make it a little bit bigger. But actually, I'll tell you what will work really well. There we go, that's centered. And so it's now got a little black area. But what we can do is we can now, uh, again, go back into Canvas, or Project Settings rather, and we can have a different color. You go. So that's a bit more outstanding, isn't it? So we've got a pink background and that is then ready to go in to YouTube. So that's all we need to do with that one. Okay, so while that's downloading in its YouTube format, let's jump back into Canva where I created the, uh, the initial element. So here we go. Oh, there's my special offer. <laughs> right, so there we go. This is what Perth put in in for, for Antonia, her uh, Pinterest by Antonia Bolton. So that is our, that is our thumbnail. Um, and what I love about 
Camtasia. Now you can you can create and do them all differently. You don't have to have the paid version. You can just go in and create different sizes, really different size th thumbnails for different um, elements. So mm -hmm. on the paid version, we've got a lovely tool here, which allows us to resize perfectly. So we have, let's really do it for a, an Instagram post, a, oh look, we can do both there, Facebook and Instagram. Let's just do them separately. A Pinterest video pin. That might be interesting. Let's do that. So we're going to copy and resize all three of those all at once with that magic button. And as if by magic, we now have all the different elements. So there you go. There's a Pinterest, I'm guessing. Right, that's a nice square one. So that's nice as that'll be for Facebook. That one will be for Instagram. And that one is the pin. How cool is that? Now, while we've been editing, uh, Otter has come back with Antonio's audio. And interestingly, yeah, interestingly, it actually comes up and it summarizes, I don't know this, it summarizes keywords, which is quite good. So, you know, when you're you'll know which keywords and how to use that as, as part of your key search terms. And so there, there you go. There is an absolute ton of transcribed material free. If you wanted to upload this as uh, as an SRT file, and so, so you're putting it into your, you're putting it as a subtext uh, in your videos. So if you upload it to YouTube or to Facebook, um, they will automatically do this. But obviously, it's always better because they never do it perfectly. It's always better if you can actually upload your own. Um, so you might want to go through this and just double check it. If we're using this as a blog post as well, I would say certainly go and double check as it's being read through just to take uh, some of the things out. I noticed there was a question, <laughs> uh, 80 minutes. Question from Judas or a show show, show and tell, please. Can you take us through how to do a pin as in how to upload your, our own? So that was a question from Judith, not Judas, um, and we could take out or a show show. It was a question was show and tell, please. Can you take us through the pin? So we can change all that. Just little tweaks, just hit the edit button. Uh, and when you're happy with it, uh, let's just export the text. So we can have it as a text file, SRT. That's a premium, so we have to pay for that. But, uh, but yeah, that's not bad, is it? So we can get it as a text file. We can convert it into an SRT quite easily. So that's exporting and then upload it all onto your website and then start to use that and cut it up to make your little Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn posts. To finish up, we have created our YouTube video in the right dimension. So let's drop that in into the play line. So there we are, so that's looking good. But of course we want it to be now ready for Facebook. So project settings, we want that to be a square video. So that'd be 1080. Now, as you can see, that is way too big for our canvas. So we need to reduce it down by grabbing the corners. There we go. And just want to make sure that it's nicely in the middle. Nothing showing either sides. So we can have that. That will be a square and that'd be nice. So that's still there. So we actually want to make the background the same color as our outline. So again, we go into project settings and we pick the color. Now there's a little color picking tool here. So let's just go pick that color and apply. And there you go. That is our Facebook ready. But you do you really want that blank elements? Well, that's okay. You can just go into annotations. You can put it anywhere we like, really. But we can call it guide. A 
guy to Pinterest. And we can have more at the bottom. Just drag it to where we want it. And there we could have a for more information. Call XXX. Uh, we can have any number of um, calls to action there, and we can change that as as we go through. We want to drag all those right across. So there you go, so now you have a video which will play quite happily in there. Facebook, and then you just... perfectly sized, and we could either, we could even put the uh, yeah, garden. We can even put the text uh, subtitles underneath as well. We could actually, we could raise it up a touch, and we could actually have the subtitles playing underneath. So that's how we make it into a um, Facebook. Um, that would also suit for LinkedIn. Um, and then, of course, if we really wanted to make it for IGTV, uh, that is the reverse of landscape 720 by 1, 2, Oh. Of course, now that is a little bit too wide, so you can pull that in. We can pull that in. See, we can even have that to the ends. Pull those in. A guide to Pinterest was fairly okay, but also you could you could have your logos up in the top there as well, and that then becomes a perfect size for IGTV. Well, you, I mean you could even, you could, you, or if you wanted to, you could make that um, bring that out, make that bigger, so there's more of the video being shown, and less of Antonia. As long as it's in that. Uh, that structure you're fine and you're good to go and again you can change the wording either way so there you go in this tutorial we have just shown you how to convert a zoom recording of basically an interview and a how-to guide and that has now become a YouTube video a video for Facebook for Instagram TV Instagram and LinkedIn we have then taken it and taken the audio, stripped out the audio, and we now have that text file. So that can now become a blog and we can take images, little pictures of the images all the way through and add them in. Hey, we can even now make video pins to then post the video pin in Pinterest to link it to the video that will be in YouTube or indeed in Facebook or wherever you want. Further, you can now actually break it down and just say, okay, the element of how to create a pin would make a great one minute guide on a Facebook post. Hope you found that uh, educational and uh, please do put it into practice.